Hello friends, welcome to our Brave today. Um, when I start these Braves, we have a book and we start off with and we do a, craft, uh, a, a sketch or whatever. Um, at the beginning of these, I like to do a little left right hand um, drawing to kind of get both sides of your hands going. And we use your stronger hand, of course, and then your, your, your weaker hand, the one that you don't draw with. And we go from there. So today we're going to... I don't know. We're going to kind of just wing it. I have the um, this little magazine here, and I see this little apple here. So we're just going to go and sometimes just kind of use other things here. So what I'm going to do is use the apple icon, and I'm going to draw it with my left hand or my right hand. And you guys could do that too, just symbols or whatever, things that are easy just to practice and play. And then a little leaf. And then with my other hand, my less prominent hand, I'm going to do the same thing. Try to... draw the apple so just that's the thing is just to get your brain going get your hand going um, thinking with both sides of your brain or whatever or thinking with that artistic side of your brain and just making it a little more difficult to uh, to um, it makes it more difficult to draw on the one that you less use, use less. I'm just looking for my eraser here. Oh well. And uh, just do some symbols and things that you have lying around or magazines or whatever. So I thought I'd do the um, Apple with the phone, you know, Apple or this computer symbol today. Just because. Oh, there we go. And of course, we could just, um, I don't know. Work on our printing, that's a little hard. <laughs> that's a little hard. And then that's what I'm doing. So that was basically what I do to start off my video is always do these little sketches and doodles for that. So it's kind of like a double. You could do this in your book too. I'm just doing it on a paper side by side. Um, so it's a little easier for me. And that's what I do. Make it as busy as you want or just a little bit of a little play at it and just keep going it just gets your other hand working and you get better at it really better drawing with both hands and sometimes I think we're conditioned to use pick which one we want and I think that if we were to use them equally we'd be just as good there we go for that so you do whatever you want with that, guys, and have fun with that. Okay, so we have um, today's Brave, and then yes, last week's Brave was just doing some things around the house. Um, today's Brave is going to do, I'm um, going to make a silhouette. I'm going to choose a silhouette. Oh, I just totally put um, something on her face. I got another magazine. I'm going to do a silhouette of this girl for today's brave and I'm not going to do her face I'm just going to do our, her her whole uh, details just the silhouette so grab something off a magazine and this is all about just doing lines it doesn't have to be perfect uh, I'm working on the hair right now it's just lines and following that so whatever you can get onto 
the uh, book. Just do that. Try not to think of each part of what you're drawing. Think of it as little lines that you're copying that you are. Uh, sorry guys, can't see that. Little lines that you are just following instead of what they are, what you're drawing. Don't think of that part. And that's what we're doing today. Just following lines. Sometimes it's easier even if you don't recognize the shape. So sometimes it's easier if you flip them upside down or something like that. There's people who who actually do that for art classes. Uh, teach that way. We're just doing the silhouette. We're not trying to make this person known and who it is. Just do a silhouette of somebody. And that's it. So grab a magazine and do any person um, or any shape animal and do a silhouette. And that's what we're doing. Just lines today. We're not trying to recognize who it is. We're just doing the outer lines. And that's it, really. A silhouette. So I'm just coloring it in. You guys do what you want. You can do colors. This is just an exercise to kind of practice lines. Um, the reason why we do this Bray book is just to get ideas and inspirations for other projects. So if you use this for a idea and inspiration, um, you can use it for any kind of journal page and that kind of thing. And it's really, you know, fun. So that's the whole idea behind the, the Brave book. So you got to choose which parts are going to be lighter and darker when you fill them in like this. Because this is a, a, a silhouette. So yeah, I like to do the Brave book so you guys have inspirations on your own that you're doing. These are not copied. Like these are going to be things that you're making up on your own. When I say grab a book and do this and you're doing that, and that's your own inspirations and your own silhouettes. It's not a um, stencil, it's just your own thing, your own project really. And that's kind of cool. So today, like I said, fun, easy silhouette and no one's going to be the same. And just fill it in with different lines and that kind of thing. It's not to be recognized. It's just to be following lines. You can do more details. You can do a larger piece. Um, you can even do smaller, like, you know, draw smaller, whatever you want. You could do somewhat details, like how I'm doing it here with... Uh, coloration of what you're choosing to sketch, what you're choosing, I mean to darken and what you're choosing to light, lightning, lighten, can't speak, and that is it. And you guys could do just pages of these and have fun with it and just practice silhouettes. I hope you guys enjoyed this and give it a try. Now this is going to be a, a silhouette that no one has. And like I said, just practice the outside. It's just lines. It's just lines. And you don't look at it as you're looking at this person. You're looking at each line and following it. And that's all you're doing. That is all you're doing. So there we go. I just wanted to come back and quickly do the word I was thinking of for today's puppet. Um, only because these silhouettes, we can totally to play with them and, and, and use them in that way. And just use whatever, think of a word that just that your silhouette kind of cries out to you and use that today. And you don't have to use it in your thing, in your journal or in your whatever project you're doing. But yeah, try to think of a word that pops out when you see your, your silhouette. And I'm going to draw another one and continue. But you guys do whatever you want. Grab something out of your 
magazine and yeah have fun with it so that's all I guys maybe I'll do this one this would be a really cool silhouette Talk, hope you guys enjoy your your day don't forget to craft like a duck I'm just gonna do this one quickly I'm only doing the live I'm not concentrating this is kind of a silhouette on the but look at that I'm just kind of drawing it and Captain America so you can use any subject on a magazine if you want more detail like I'm just doing right here you can do more detail and color it in the silhouette is just darkened it's just no detail so I do have a little detail here, but we're the kind of in charge of all of our art projects, so we can do whatever, right? So there we go. Goes to show you, you could do whatever you wish and just enjoy the pro process. And uh, yeah. Just follow those lines. I'm going down. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to see my picture a little bit just to follow the lines a bit there. And that is it. Do some silhouettes from a magazine. Don't, I don't want to, you know, don't recognize the person. You can kind of know who this is, but the character, but it's all just a silhouette. Again, like I said, enjoy your day. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.